Welcome to Every Day is Macaroni. I'm Joy Alford Brand. And I'm Juliet Connell. And we're the hosts of Everyday Macaroni, the podcast. This podcast is a look at the lighter side of life, where we talk about our adventures as a modern blended family. So sit back, relax, and prepare to have your funny bone tickled. Hello, listeners. Boy, do we have an extra special turkey treat for you today. But before we get started, if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to give this video a like, share it on your social media platforms, and subscribe to our YouTube channel while you're at it because that helps us create more fun content like this for you, our one and only listener. Now, for those of you who are new here, these episodes are based on the recordings of the weekly dinners I have with my husband, Ron, his sister, Juliet, who is also a co-host of this podcast, and their 80-year-old parents, Al and Lita. Well, listener, it's that time again. Yep, you can tell by my hat. It's Thanksgiving, and you know what that means. Time to argue over the food, specifically the turkey. On this episode, we're revisiting a fun tale about a turkey from years gone by that was so big, it almost didn't fit in the oven. We revisit the unfortunate sardine situation from the last episode because, you know, a scent like that tends to linger. And we wind things up with a debate about just how many freezers two people really need. We know you're going to enjoy this year's turkey tale, so let's jump in with a little flashback to the 80s. Enjoy! I got my hair cut yesterday. Yeah, it looks nice. I like it. Same guy? Yeah, it's the same guy. And I do like the haircut, Mm -hmm. but when he styles it and he dries it really flat, I think it looks like Tom Petty from the 80s. You know what I mean? (laughs) Full moon fever right here so I go in there and I tell him he says ah how do you want me to cut it today what do you want do you want me to do anything different and I say give me the Tom Petty (laughs) and he's Korean he's from he was born in Korea so he's like who what he's he's a little younger than me Uh, it it does don't you I guess I guess it's parted in the middle I guess well no but it's like you remember when he had that blonde like flat kind of real flat hair Mm -hmm. that's me Tom Petty (laughs) Oh my god. Now? <sighs> it's that time of year. Mm. We got to talk about the turkey. Yes. We got to turkey. We got to talk talk turkey because mm-hmm. it's time to get the whole Thanksgiving plan yep. going. Mm-hmm. And lately we've been starting off talking about the food. Yeah. And this last Monday was a shiny example of just an unfortunate mm. dish. Mm. Those ribs that he oh, yeah. bought already made from the supermarket. Right. And, and they're in that added. plastic container. Uh-huh. And then he puts his spice rub on it. And they're so spicy. Mm. Anyway, we could talk about that later. I don't want to get off track and miss the important topic, which today is turkey. Thanksgiving. Yep. Every year we go through the same thing. And mm-hmm. it seems like this year's no exception. Although... Your parents, I feel like they're kind of micromanaging the turkey this year. Yeah, well, they do every year. Every year they always ask. And for whatever reason, every year they want to purchase the turkey. Right. So maybe we're not good purchasers of turkey. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how you can mess that up. I don't know either. I, I don't understand how that's But an luckily issue. this year, I think we got them because they've already purchased it. And it's not, you know, turkeyzilla. <laughs> That I can't even fit in the oven, which happened one year. <laughs> Turkeyzilla. I was like, oh You couldn't God. fit the turkey in the oven? No, we had to take the, you know how the ovens come with the two racks? We had to pull one of the racks out and put it at the very bottom so that it would fit. And we couldn't put the attachment in the pan because we have a turkey pan. Right. And then inside of that pan, there's this metal grate that you normally put in that's shaped like a V. And okay. then the turkey nestles itself right, right. in there, like right? A, it's like a roasting rack or something. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we couldn't use that. Really? No, because it lifted the turkey too high up for us to stick it in the oven. <laughs> and I was just like, what the heck? Turkeyzilla, that yeah. is hysterical. Yeah. So, How long ago was that? Uh, four or five years ago, maybe. Really? Uh, maybe a little more. The whole pandemic thing still has me. So well, those are like two years I won't get back. <laughs> I don't think any of us will. So it must be like six years. There for a years. second when you said pandemic, I thought you were making a joke about the turkey pan. <laughs> the pandemic, yeah. No, so, no. Because there were a 
couple of years where we didn't have Thanksgiving now, together. This thing was so big. <laughs> now, this is before uh, COVID, right? The turkey was so big, we actually <laughs> took a picture of it because we put it in the pan that we normally have for turkeys. And it was so big. <laughs> it was like a 24-pound turkey. Oh, my God. The average is like 12 to 14. It was massive. And Ken was just like, what the heck is that? <laughs> <laughs> and someone kill a dog and put it in the pan. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was now Juliet. We insane. can't make jokes about that. You know, <laughs> we're very dog friendly here. We, we would oh, never listen. Totally are. We would never do that. <laughs> never. But it was insane. We were just like, uh, I don't know. Love. I don't know how we're gonna fit this in an. Oven. I don't even know why someone would buy a turkey that big because I don't know that there are ovens. Well, yeah. How do you large cook enough? It? I mean, so you yeah. would have to bury it in a pit in your bed. Yard. Oh, no. uh, yeah, that took some maneuvering. Were we there for that Thanksgiving? Because yep. I don't... Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, but, you know, we, we stuffed it in there, and it always shrinks a little bit. So, And we always have a ton of people. So by the time it gets to the table, Ken has already carved it. So oh. we're not the carving at the table, dining yeah, no. table because it gets kind of messy. Yeah. Yeah, that was something else. That's why now I would rather buy two... 12 pound turkeys yes. if I needed to then that massive turkey because uh, I don't know I don't hey know. you need to see if you can find that picture and if I can find it I'll put it in the video yeah. or I'll put it on our Instagram page which people can go and look at and follow us just so you know mm -hmm. on Instagram everyday macaroni so I vaguely remember something about that vaguely but it's been well before COVID I yeah. you're right about oh, yeah, that for, for sure. sure yeah so they always they have always always for some reason the turkey on Thanksgiving has to be picked out by them, regardless if it's at their house, at my house, whatever. It's always, oh, we'll, we'll go get the turkey. I'm like, okay. I don't understand how, why it can't be just a simple, let's go get a 12 or 14 pound bird or whatever. Because in their mind, I mean, look, even when we go to their house on Mondays, oh, you know, well, that's true. they're cooking like there's 20 people coming over and it's just the three of us. All the time. Just three of us and then two of them. Yes. So five total. Yeah. Right. Five and total then and they're what cooking happens? for 20. Then oh, they yeah. constantly try to give the food away. Right. And as much as I love your parents, and I do, they try to give this food away and it's crap. <laughs> uh, there's no way I'm taking it home. But if I do, normally winds up getting file 13. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I do understand how their mentality is we're cooking for a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. And they do talk a lot about. What's that? Oh, thanks. Oh, you're, oh, look at this. Speaking of cooking. I can't see. All I can see are his feet. Eh, this is for you. Ooh. You got to take it over there, honey. I'm mm -hmm. stuck here. Do I take the whole plate? Yeah, take the whole plate. <laughs> mm -hmm. Did you? It's supposed to be for everybody. It's oh, for well. everybody. Ron made. Uh, Ron made. What do you call those things? Gambinos? Um, I call them shrimp. No, in Spanish. These are called. Um, oh, yeah. now you threw me. They are um, camarones. Oh, I said gambinos. Gambinos. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> and then, of course, I'm thinking, oh, are you speaking in Italian? <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, well, that's somehow appropriate for this whole thing because here we are talking about tons of food. And Ron, who's got the day off because it's Veterans Day. Yay. We love veterans here just almost as much as we love our dogs. <laughs> <laughs> no, we really do love veterans, but we hit Veterans Day, and so he's got the day off, and now he's making food, mm -hmm. which could go one of two ways. Well, that that is true, and saying. I don't uh, I don't taste any liquid smoke in this, or no hot dogs in it either. No hot dogs, <laughs> hot so dogs, and liquid are smoke. Safe. <laughs> Those are his two favorite spices. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> yes, if you ever get a chance to come over here and eat, um, make sure it's on a day when Ron's not making hot dog souffle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. All right, I'm getting off track here. Turkeyzilla, I forgot about that. I forgot about the giant turkey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it is true. They do cook for tons and tons of people. I think they're afraid they're going to run out of food. I guess. I don't know where they get that every Monday. Now, for Thanksgiving and all those other those festivities, yeah, they always had a ton of people. Oh, we always used to have 15 and we made this amount, but people don't eat like they used to true the amounts of food that they used to so everyone's a little more cognizant of their calorie not overeating, intake and right. not overeating and not to mention we always used to have family members that would travel so far that they would be there either all day or they would spend the night 
So not right. only are you feeding them for one meal, one meal, which was always early. It was always around two or three o'clock. But then you were feeding them again at like seven. So it was like you were feeding them that twice. one time and twice. You yeah. could stretch that meal so you <clears> could <throat> take the turkey and you could make leftover sandwiches and stuff like that. Yeah. Right. So this whole thing with the turkey, I have noticed that over the years, and we've talked about it before, last year's episode and the year before that too. I think this is our third Thanksgiving episode, isn't it? Is it the third? Oh, turkey? wow. I, I would have thought it was more. The but corns made you might me do it. Right. Yep. The corns made me do it was a is one of our more popular now episodes. the corns made me do it that was just as we were getting out of covid right that was i do remember that because that was like yay we actually have people and there's no more virtual going on right. anymore do you remember yes because the christmas before we were all on lockdown so ken made that uh pot no, roast it was like a roast yeah uh, prime rib he made a prime rib mm-hmm. roast. It was so yummy. And we ended Delivered up putting it. it in Tupperware bins and delivering it to your house and other, you know, all mm-hmm. our uh, family members got like a family size portion. Mm-hmm. It was so good. Mm-hmm. And you just made your sides and then mm-hmm. we all got together on the Zoom and had, yep. you know, our meal and mm-hmm. then open presents and stuff. Yeah. That was the Christmas before. And then that Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. That was our first Thanksgiving episode, The Corns Made Me Do It. Yep. And then last year was Turkey Trouble Train. Turkey Trouble Train. And this year, (laughs) you have given me the title for this episode. I'm going to call it (laughs) Turkeyzilla. Because it's true. I don't remember arguments about the food for Thanksgiving before COVID. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there were some, but I wasn't paying as much of attention as I do now. Yeah. Because I wasn't trolling for content. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but now I'm trolling for content. And so I'm paying more attention. And there's constantly an argument about what's going on for Thanksgiving dinner. I thought you dinner. were going to say what's cooking. <laughs> well, that's true. There's constantly yeah. an argument about that. But what we're going to have for Thanksgiving dinner. Mm-hmm. And normally, I don't know why it can't ever be like, well, we'll just get the 12 or 14 pound turkey. Mm-hmm. And you guys make the sides. It can't ever be like a systematic thing. Like Oh, no. And you already know, right? So I had it out. I was like, no more than, you know, 12 pounds. I don't know who's coming yet. Blah, <laughs> right. blah, blah. And then we go to family night right, dinner. Right. And, and it's, it's already done. Uh, it's, it's already, they've already purchased not only the turkey, but <laughs> now I'm hearing they, <laughs> they purchased ham. All right. And we actually have those clips. But this is like a turkey fate accompli, right? It's like, <laughs> you don't have a choice in the matter. You're, it's, it's already it's there. It's already done. You- and it started when I was in Italy. Here I am in Italy, and I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, I'm making plans for podcast episodes coming forward. I know we do something for Thanksgiving. We do something for the holidays, whatever. I'm thinking we're going to have to get ready for the Thanksgiving episode. And here is what your dad has to say about planning ahead for Thanksgiving while I'm in Italy. I'm not at this dinner. Yep. And this is the one little bit of it that's not in Spanish. I'm just saying. Here's what he has to say. When uh, we're uh, we going to do the, the turkey day? Mm-hmm. You want us to do it or you uh, going to do it? Or, or who is going to do it? Because we wanted to buy a turkey the other day. And we said, well, let's ask Juliet. I don't know. It all depends on if coming or not we haven't heard if he's coming uh if joy's sister is coming or not también porque so yo también te iba a decir si quieres que nosotros lo hagamos no hay problema yeah. no i mean it's still okay i'm not sure what she's saying all that's in spanish it's all half and half now she, she had started out by saying hey where are we going to have thanksgiving we don't care where it is just know that we'll buy the turkey and ham if that's needed. And then I said, I haven't heard from family members mm-hmm. as to who's coming from what side. And so I, I have no idea how many people we're going to have and how much food we're going to have to get. But yeah, other than that, so she she was just going on about the turkey. and Right. And then your dad. Oh, thanks. All right. Potatoes. Yes. Thank you. What? And potatoes? Mm-hmm. Oh, you want, you want the potatoes? Ron keeps bringing us food, so I keep getting distracted. All right, so she's talking about, oh, we want to buy the turkey. Let's start making a plan for Thanksgiving, right? Mm-hmm. This was October 16th, okay? And then they keep going. It's only, what, October 16th, so mm-hmm. people haven't 
Bueno, pues no falta, es falta un, un mes, mes. Sí, mes y una, dos semanas, dos semanas y medio. Va. Y es algo diferente. Make a fish. <laughs> fish on Thanksgiving? Mm. No. You want a fish? We make fish. Right. ¿Quieres que hagamos un fish para ti pequeño? Mm. Te lo hacemos. Okay, here's where the problem starts. Ah, oh, let's do yeah. something different, make a fish. And then your parents get it in their mind. Oh, Ron says he wants fish. And then the next thing you know, they show up with the turkey and the ham and a fish. Yeah. Or two or ten. Well, I'm just going to say it's his fault <laughs> that we had sardines the following Monday. <laughs> Really? Why? No, I'm just saying. Because now that I'm hearing this all over oh, again, that's I'm thinking, why they're thinking, oh, oh fish, that's not planted. a bad idea. We can't yes. do it for Thanksgiving because that would be, you know, ah. whatever. But but we can eat fish, and that's now given us the opportunity to go buy sardines and put them in on a Monday night dinner. And we're really, really, really going to cook them. So, <laughs> so, so they're super I extra know. double well done, right? Mm-hmm. Like electrocuted. Okay. Just for Ronnie. It's just sardines. It's his favorite. Oh, oh. favorite. Oye, que tenemos sardinas. There you go, bring them. See? She says, hey. Que tenemos we sardinas. sardines. Que fuimos a, a donde venden allá el pescado. Allá a la entrada de Ronnie. Que una pescadería estupenda. Fresco, nice. La gente de lo más atenta. Very good Muy bien. Very attentive. Esto. Un... Oh, I see. So that's where she's talking about, oh, well, let's go to that store. No, no, that- no. She already went to that store. Oh. She went to that store. She's like, oh, wait a minute. You've just given me an idea. Ding, ding, ding. Thank you, Ronnie. Ah. Oh. She's like, yeah, the people were really nice. The place is so clean. We can do sardines. Yes, but mm-hmm. that was two weeks before I was at Monday night dinner. Yeah, they were frozen. Oh. They, they had froze them probably. Well, I would imagine. But you see, I asked your dad, where did you get these? Did mm. you, were they frozen? He's, and your mother said, no, we bought them at the store. Yeah. Well, they brought them and then they probably put oh, them in their boy. freezer. It, it, when they think frozen, they're like, no, it came frozen, you know, from somewhere else. Wow. I would imagine that they bought them and, you know. Yeah. You need to take a whole other class on language to understand. <laughs> Or and communicate with these people. All right. So then we get into the discussion about the turkey that your dad has, right? Right. Okay. Un día que haga así soleado, bonito, que no sé ahora cuándo va a ser, pero a ver si les hacemos sardinas. A Joy le gustan. A ti? All right. So you she like said, next time también, we have a yeah. really right. nice yep. sunny day. Joy likes sardines. You like sardines too, right? And I said, yeah. Oh, then let's make those next time it's sunny. Well, lucky for us, it was Monday. Yeah, two weeks later. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And then they grilled them, mm-hmm. and uh, then they cooked them in the oven some more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. Um, uh, we, uh, um, we're going to buy the turkey. Sí. No matter who does it, give it a turkey. If we do it. We got the turkey. If you want to do it, so we take the lo turkey vamos a to you. De todas the, okay. How big? Uh, uh, you I don't think know because I don't know if Joy's ah, sister is coming. Claro. I don't know yes. if, Ron, uh, if the other one's coming. That's, All right. Bueno, that's cuando like four or eight people. Claro. So I don't know. Esto. <laughs> so when they all decide, hmm, bueno. then we know. Oh, well, mm-hmm. si no, lo compramos. No matter what, está la frisa cuadrada. Se mete ahí. Esto. But you don't know what size to buy. Yeah. Uh, uh, what I mean is uh, how wait. big. Sí, ya sé. You know, it's like a big turkey and maybe we are only... Uh, just get people. one that feeds 12. And then if we had to add, then we get another <laughs> another turkey or get a small turkey or we'll get a chicken turkey so breast a, or a, whatever. An eight-pound turkey. People are not eating mm-hmm. like, like crazy anymore. Yeah. So <laughs> two slices and they're done for oh, one person. Yeah. Okay. You know, so, you know. You know what you do? Get it. Not to mention. Not to mention that, uh, you know, if you get a really huge one, whose oven is big enough to fit a humongous one, you know? I'm uh, about the 12 pounds. Yeah. That's a lot. Also, more or less. Uh, Pounds. Get, uh, no, 12 pounds is the normal. Get, get right? Because it, don't they 12, say it's 15. A, is yeah. it a pound per person? Oh, who eats a pound of know. turkey? No, but I think it, it shrinks. So they say on average, bit, yeah. 
I don't know. I'd have to look up online. I think yeah, they, they must, say uh, buy get, a pound per person, mm-hmm. and then it shrinks. Yeah. And then that's right. I don't know. I'd have to look. Esto up. otra It's cosa es que to... pesa eso, pero también tiene los huesos. Pero la gente no va a comer huesos. Yeah, yeah not eating <laughs> so what she's saying is she's agreeing with me, and she's saying, yeah, it's about a pound per person because turkey will shrink, right? And there's a whole bunch of bones in it. Oh yeah, and mm-hmm. no one's eating the bone. Mm-hmm. So on average, if you stick to one pound per person. You'll always have enough meat. Enough meat, and then some for a leftover or two. Oh, okay. Well, she's agreeing with you. Mm-hmm. That's a positive thing. There you go. Mm-hmm. Uh, we need to write that down. See, it happens sometimes. <laughs> we need to stitch that on a pillow. <laughs> All right. This is October sixteenth, right? Mm-hmm. This is two weeks before the unfortunate electrocuted sardine debacle, and already they're putting pressure on you to try to tell them, oh, okay. What size turkey should we get? And you have said, I don't know, because I don't know how many people are coming, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, keep that in your mind for a minute. Okay. <laughs> and then, of course, we have Ron stirring the pot. Oh, get a fish. Oh, get a chicken. Oh, do this, do that. Thank you for the sardines. Uh-huh, that's unfortunate. Then, here we come to the next week, right? Right. Now, I still wasn't at that dinner. I just got back the day before and jet lag and all that kind of stuff. Here's what your dad has to say. Hey, um, uh, today uh, um, I bought the turkey today, okay, uh, see. so okay. don't buy it. How heavy is it? 12, 12, uh, 12 pounds. Uh, it's too much? No. I think it's, uh, it's all right, 12 pounds. Okay. Yeah. Did it's you get, a butter ball. Did you get a ham also? No. 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 Pero una cosa, si quieres, te traemos también el jamón. Yeah. Okay, so now, so a week later, he says, I got the ha- I got the turkey. It's about 12 pounds. Right. <laughs> right. Now, did you hear Ron say, did you get a ham? Right. And he's like, no, no. And my mom now is going, oh, well, if you want us to get a ham, we can get a ham too. Right. right. Wait for it. Mm-hmm. Wait for it. We'll revisit this in a minute. Okay. And also, I want to say, Ron was recording this on his phone, and he kept putting his phone in his pocket. Oh, and that's why you're hearing that's why it the noise. like we're outside. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. So he's got the phone in his pocket. He's recording. I thought, man, it's windy. Out. I know. Like, where were we? <laughs> no. That's, he's recording it on his phone himself. Okay. I want to point that out. He himself took it upon himself. There's too many himself there. But you know what I mean. He took it upon himself. <laughs> to record this of his own volition. Gotcha. Okay. You're on your way out the door, down the steps, and this is the very end of the night, and your dad's mentioning, hey, I got the turkey, mm-hmm. and your mother then is like, oh, do you want us to get a hand because of Ron, right? Mm-hmm. All right, so that is a week later. And then two weeks after that, on November the 6th, mm-hmm. we have a big conversation about the turkey. Yep. And, right. and her so, husband is nice. Uh, yeah. Not to change the subject, but yeah. Thanksgiving yeah. is a couple of short weeks away. Mm-hmm. That's right. Three weeks. Mm-hmm. So, what's our Thanksgiving plan? Well, for starters, we got to get a turkey. They got the turkey already. Yeah, we got already. the turkey already. And we got the ham. Oh, why are you, why you starting all this? Okay, hold on. We got ham. Did you hear that? Yes. Did you hear yeah. that? Why are you starting all this? <laughs> right? Uh, okay, so last week, we have turkey. No. No one said anything about a ham. Do you want a ham? We can get a ham. No, we don't need a ham. That was the end. Right. Oh, no. That's the not day, the end. Mm-hmm. We got a ham. We right. got a ham. You got a ham. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Roll that beautiful bean footage. Did you get ham? Yeah, Ham's on Thanksgiving. And how much that's what Caitlin likes. Because eat? it's yeah. what Caitlin likes and, and Ken Caitlin likes. Can have a sandwich. And Ken also likes. It's a, it's a, a it's hand. a little hand. It's a small It's a little It's a small hand. Small. I still don't know what it's going to be. Somebody who right. I don't believe it. He's like, he's showing me with his hand. It's a little ham. No a way. Little, a little ham. You, no, <laughs> man, that thing is going to be sliced. And, of course, it's a, that spiral slice. I bet, I mean, it's going to be like. Like this. You know, you know? it's going to be like a full-on honey baked ham size, and it's going to have yeah. some type of yeah. weird sauce on Once it again, or something. Thank you, Ron. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Right? Because mm-hmm. had he not brought it up, 
They never would have thought a ham. Who thinks a ham for Thanksgiving? Never. At least they wouldn't, you Mm -hmm. know. Thanksgiving, there are certain things that they hold very dear. And for whatever reason, Thanksgiving is one of those holidays. Holidays, yeah. But, all right. Uh Uh-huh. Let's move it on. (laughs) What else was there? Okay, wait. There's more. You know there's more. I'm sure (laughs) there is. There's lots more to come, but there's some intervening conversation. And we get off track again, as we are want to do. We constantly are moving around subject to subject, talking say, about different aren't things. Aren't we always Yes, off topic? Always. always. It's like, I don't know, it's like a room full of cats, and they're all kind of going off on their own tangents, right? <laughs> Can't ever stay focused. It's focused. like we ought to be putting Adderall in the dinner rolls or something, <laughs> you know? Exactly. Nobody can stay focused. <laughs> Not one of us. So here we go off on some big tangent about conversations. I, I don't know. And then I have to bring everybody right back around. I got to let it go for a little while because otherwise y'all get mad. Like, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm trying to finish my conversation or my story. Rear, stop. Rear. <laughs> right. So I let you go and then I very gently try to steer you back. And here is the remainder of that conversation. So, okay, turkey and ham. Yeah. Like, uh, what else? Uh, corn. We'll, we'll, we'll get corn. I know I bought some uh, sweet potatoes already. Or the I mean, sweet cheap. potatoes, so maybe I'll make a... I can bring uh, edamame. No. A what? Edamame. No. And the mummy kisses. They're soybeans. They're soybeans. No, the, are they soybeans? Yeah. Sardines. No. Now, did you... Sardines? <laughs> <laughs> Again with the sardines, they're like popping their like, ugly little charcoal heads up they're, everywhere. Their lipless, eyeless faces. <laughs> oh my gosh, sardines! Sardines? No, soybeans. <laughs> soybeans. And you really don't need a hearing aid, right? I know. <laughs> you really don't. I said soybean. No, you said sardine. No, I said soybean. No, you said sardine. Okay. So here's Ron stirring the pot again. Oh. Bring corn, but not on the cob. Oh, I'm going to bring edamame. Now. Not. You don't like sardines. What? <laughs> what? You don't like sardines. Like all of a sudden. Well, I like out of sardines. sardines. What? Uh, okay. So then. So she was like having like that, that private moment right there. Someone said soybeans and she was like sardines. And the mic picked it up. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> that was like her thought process. Sardines. <laughs> Wait. Sardines? You don't like sardines? Right, she's pointing at me. <laughs> right. <laughs> you don't like sardines. <laughs> and here I totally, I here no matter how hard I try to herd the cats, she goes off on this other <laughs> tangent. Here we go off on a tangent again, and I'm trying to talk about the turkey. Okay. What else? I can bring uh, edamame. <laughs> no. A what? Edamame. No. And the mommy kisses. Uh, soybeans. They're soybeans. No, the, are they soybeans? Yeah. No. No, they're not. You don't like sardines. What? You don't like sardines. I like sardines. Yeah. But they were uh, too too roasted. Yeah, the other day. It's like they they got electrocuted. (laughs) 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 I think he caught them. I don't know. The flamethrower. With the microwave in the pond. (laughs) Those things, the lips were fried off of them. But, but wanted to make sure that they uh, were done for sure. Yeah, they were done. done. Extra super double right. well done. <laughs> like the mafia fried them. Yeah. Yeah, and fish. We don't fish need anybody gets, to know this is a fish. Fish gets cooked much, much faster than a piece of meat. Yeah, beef. I know. <laughs> All right. I should, uh, I know. Put the, the timer. No, the oven. Um, the heat. The yes. heat lower. Yeah, lower the heat. Uh, or or maybe. <laughs> oh, oh, there it is. So. Maybe. Start dinner a little later. We get there always at the exact same time. Right. Did you hear there at the end? Mm-mm. Okay. Fish gets cooked much, much faster he than... He admits it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All I right. I should uh, put the, the... Timer. No, the oven. Um, the heat. Mm-hmm. The heat lower. Yeah, lower the heat. Uh, I think you burned the And I forgot. <laughs> I, I oh, forgot there it is. Lot, so. I forgot. Um, yeah. He forgot him. Yeah. I don't timer. cook like I used to. Yeah. yeah, you see, I forgot I don't cook like I used to. Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. so he admits it. Yeah. But boy, he cooked the crap out of those sardines, man. But I do have to say <laughs> that hence the reason why I don't cook, because I would be cooking just like my dad. <laughs> All right? I always have to have a timer. 
always because I get distracted. I'll put something in the oven and the girls can tell you when they were younger and Ken wasn't around, he was off training or whatever, training or whatever. I would put in a pizza and they would invite their friends and I would inevitably forget that that was in there. And they were all like, your mom burnt the pizza. Burnt frozen pizza. (laughs) So that's where I instituted the fend for yourself night. (laughs) And that was it. But wait, there's there's more. (laughs) One would think that that's the end of the turkey trauma, right? Mm. But no. Oh, no. There's more. So at this point in the conversation, we've still got a good 20 minutes to go at the table. And it's so interesting to me that... The last 20 minutes, there's usually so much packed in there. (laughs) Really? Yes. So when I'm going through... Well, probably because it takes us so long to get to the table together. Well, I think it's that. And I think uh, what with the wine and the whatnot. Oh, that's true. We all kind of get loosened up by the end. And also, (laughs) we all tend to get excited about, well, time to go. (laughs) (laughs) I know. Oh, oh, they're leaving? Hey, how about this? How about this and this? Mm -hmm. And the dog (laughs) gets excited. And so here we are at the end of the meal. And we're getting close to leaving. Here's what your dad has to say to you. We'll keep working on it. Okay. Boy. Thank you, girls and boys. Don't forget to take the turkey. I don't know when, but don't forget. Yeah, all right. Next next week, I'll pull it out. Did you hear him? You said, I don't know when, maybe next week, whatever. And he's like, all right. I know. (laughs) Hey, don't forget that turkey. Mm-hmm. You're like, okay, but there's still two, three weeks to go. Before Thanksgiving. I mean, right? Uh, how long does it have to be out of a freezer? Right. Mm-hmm. Well, and part of it is... I don't is, know about you, but I don't have room for a freezer. Well, that's I mean, what I was going to say. Freezer. I don't have room for a turkey. Well, but that's what I was going to say. They just rearranged their garage because they built that mm-hmm. platform in there. Yeah. yeah. And so the refrigerator has been moved right and they keep an extra refrigerator in their garage and it's usually pretty full Mm -hmm. of stuff the freezer is definitely full yeah so i don't see why they want to get rid of that freezer because they had asked hey do you want that's right they have a chest freezer too in addition to the refrigerator yeah so i was like uh i don't i don't have any room for that freezer yeah but they have room on that massive platform well (laughs) i don't even know it's like a deck in their garage. Inside the garage, like, right. I, I was so surprised at how big that right. deck was. I was like, what are you doing there? Is that like for dancing? <laughs> like, what are you, what in the world? You guys going to do the tango or the rumba on your deck? Yeah. It is. It's really, really big. And, there's and I was surprised space. they didn't put that chair lift up against the wall, which is where it should be. I know. But the way it's set up, it's a left hand lift oh, because you can't change right the... you can't swap it you can't flip it over uh, because the chair is mm. oriented that way because gotcha. before yeah it was on that yeah side. it was on that side mm. and so now it's a trip hazard right in the middle of the garage <laughs> right near where you come right ne- right at the end of the stairs except like an extra foot out yeah yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it makes no sense to me i thought they were building a ramp i didn't realize they were Building stairs. If they put a ramp in, it would have it would take up more room. But I, I don't understand why they bothered to build it at all anyway, because that chair was already there. Right. Makes you no know, sense to me. For them, it's because they wanted the refrigerator to be on the same level. So the refrigerator the, is going to go up on that thing? Yep. That's why I was less like, uh, why aren't you putting the freezer up on here too? I mean, there is well more than enough room for one fridge and one freezer to be up there. That's it. That's all you need up there. You don't need anything else. My question is, okay, they have an extra refrigerator in their garage, and they have that chest freezer, that deep freeze. Mm. Where's the turkey? I'm assuming in the big chest freezer. I don't know. I don't know. Have you actually laid eyes on the turkey? Nope. And is the ham frozen too? Is the turkey still frozen? Uh, Certainly it's not thought out. No, 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 no. No, they still have it in a freezer. That's why usually I go the Saturday before Thanksgiving and go pick up the turkey and whatever else they've purchased. And then I bring it home, take it out of the plastic, and then... Thaw it out. Thaw it out. Uh, But I thaw it out in the fridge. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I give it 50-50. Now, the reason I don't worry too much about the turkey is because I know Ken's cooking it 
and he's got that down. He can cook the turkey, and it'll be mm-hmm. really good. So I'm not worried about that. I don't know who's cooking the ham. The ham will already be done. There's a few few hams that you buy that are not already cooked. No. You know, you'll put it, You'll. it's like, I'm sure, I haven't looked at it, but it's one of those spiral hams that you put in the oven for 40 minutes. You know, That's not what then, I mean. I mean, I know it's already cooked. Mm. What I mean is somebody's going to have to do something to it. They're going to have to warm it up, and they're likely going to Oh, they're put, not. I'll, I'll just take it with me. So you are going to take the ham and cook mm-hmm. it somehow, right? Yeah, I'll take the ham and the and the turkey. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Well, now I'm thinking I hope 12 pounds is enough. Well, there you have it. This turkey dramedy will continue to unfold, but we will report back. On our holiday special. We'll take special. some lovely pictures. Oh, yes. We'll take some lovely pictures <laughs> for everyone to enjoy. That's and right. we'll let you know how it goes. Until then, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. From Everyday Macaroni, the podcast. Yay. <laughs> oh, listener, can you feel the turkey love in the room? Yep. There's nothing like Thanksgiving to bring out the ham and all of us. Am I right? It just gives me a big old turkey warm and fuzzy right in that bread basket. Now, I don't know about your family, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be quite a few hams around our table this year. Wink, wink. (laughs) Yep, there will be no shortage of ham at our macaroni Thanksgiving, thanks to Al and Lita. And of course, you might be thinking that the goal of Thanksgiving is to share quality time with your family. And while we would mostly agree with you, in our family, it's sometimes hard to tell what's more important. Making memories with your loved ones? Or fighting with them over what size butterball to get, because after all, the real goal is making sure we don't run out of food. (laughs) Either way, this episode was not sponsored by Butterball LLC, but it should have been. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. This has been a public service announcement from the Macaroni Grill and Crematorium reminding you that turkeys only shrink a little. I hope you enjoyed listening and sharing a laugh or two with us. Stay tuned for more everyday macaroni adventures on future podcast episodes. And if you want to see some pictures of us, you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook by searching at Everyday Macaroni or hashtag Everyday Macaroni. And now you can also watch us on YouTube. Just search Everyday Macaroni and our new channel will pop up. If you want to shop for some fun macaroni merch, head over to everydaymacaroni.com. Don't forget, if you have a blended family story to share, email us at info at everydaymacaroni.com and put the word share in the subject line. You can also call us on our macaroni fun phone at 919-729-2043. Your story might end up on a future episode and how fun would that be? Super fun. Finally, don't forget to give us a good review and download your favorite episodes. A share would be nice too. The more interaction we get for the podcast, the more episodes we can post. Again, thanks for listening and join us for the next episode of Everyday